हेलो यूट्यूब व्यूअर्स वेलकम बैक टू माय अदर वीडियो टू सी प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सो इंट्रोडक्शन टू सी बेसिकली यू हैव योर लैब्स सो वी विल कवर ऑल द प्रोग्राम्स व्हिच आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर योर प्रोग्रामिंग सी प्रोग्रामिंग लैब ओके सो लेट्स सी व्हाट इज सी प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज इट्स ए बेसिकली पावरफुल टूल विच वॉज डेवलप इन नाइनटीन फॉर ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम्स टू एंड वेरियस सॉफ्टवेयर अप्लीकेशन इट्स ए लो लेवल programming language basically for high performance why it is uh, low level because it directly access the hardware okay so if you have a memory uh, where you want to save some number or something like that in that hardware so it directly writes the code for that so you can you can, uh, you can also tell like uh, compiles into machine language machine learning language and then it executes it machine level language okay so it can run on multiple platforms not only on windows it can also run on linux so fedora many many other platforms it can be run so it is portable so it supports it's a basically structured programming language yeah uh, it's basically so why we will be learning c programming language basically it's a foundation for other programming language for c++ java python or any high end programming language for learning that you need this basically so without this language you can't able to write the codes so it uh, enhance your skills basically uh, the efficiency of this programming language is very much faster why because it directly access the hardware as i informed you and also many of the embedded systems if you are from ec background watching this video now so you have embedded c as well so embedded systems they also use this programming language why because hardware to write hardware programming we the usually go, select c as a program so desktop game development desktop applications are also be developed by using this so next let's see the popular keywords in c programming language basically there are 32 reserved keywords which are the only meant for uh, this things we can't uh, initialize any name so if you want to save a number you can't write like int equal to 3 why because int is something and where it's a declaration or a reserved keyword i can tell you so these keywords are basically like are reserved for uh, for the system they have different functions based basically uh, uh, similarly i have written some common keywords like in float char if else for while do return void struct switch case break continue size of so see they have their different uh, things like int stores an integer variable size of returns a size of the data type what data type it is it is whether, whether it is a string whether is whether it is an integer whether it is a floating what is float is something like points 1.2 3 4 5 so you have so that is nothing but float char is something every keyboard uh, in on your keyboard every key every letter on your keyboard is a character please understand one is a character two is a character i can tell five as a character and when you specifically define as an integer then that is will be defined as 5 as an integer or a number okay float is also the same thing so if else are the some conditional statements which we will be saying in our next videos so we'll go with the next thing like basic syntax of free c programming what will happen is first you define all your libraries on of top of it okay then you uh, open your main function with return type it might be a void void is nothing but you are not returning anything if we will use usually int as a return type here why because we will use an online programming uh, online tool a website uh, with which we will be doing this so they have syntax like return type as an int yes if you have a separate software like eclipse you have then you will be using void as a return type if you are returning null or nothing okay so it starts with void main or int main bracket open and bracket close inside that you will write your every logic what you want so here we will be using some statements or if you see we will write first some declaration so variables need to be declared at top okay first will be your libraries second you will be writing your main function then you will be declaring all your variables then your logic you will be writing so this is how the c program is designed or you need to write the code next if you see the structure of a c program libraries hash include std std io.h you have right it begins with this statement so what happens here is standard input output headers will be or libraries will be included in this so that's how you include your libraries main function 
variable declarations, expressions, then your written type at last you will be mentioning. One few key points you need to re remember, you can use semi, you need to use semicolon at the end of all the statements. If you want to declare a variable, then after declaring it, you need to add a semicolon. And C is case sensitive. If you write a capital A and small a, both will be different. If for writing comments, you can use double colons. If you have long comments, then you can use slash star asterisk inside it. You write your comments and then close it. So that's how you need to do. Um, please make sure like you write in proper indentation format so that your code looks beautiful and it can be understandable if you want to refer it in future. Next would be a sample example of C program where we'll be printing hello world. We'll be seeing this thing in our website. This is the website. Please bookmark this website. We'll be using this. And if you're doing practicing with along with me, please open this uh, website and follow the steps as I mentioned. So at last we will conclude it like uh, C programming language is basics of all the program. So if you learn to learn, if you want to learn any programming language, this is the basic. So you need to learn it. Without this, you can't move further. We will drive into like some operations as well. Some logical statements, some looping statements, different data types we'll be using. So everything we'll be seeing in this complete series of videos. So this is an introduction. So hope you have liked it. Next, let's go to our main um, editor, which is an online website. So once we go there, we have already written the, uh, there is a sample code. If you whenever you open the website, and you will be finding a sample code open. Same format it has been written. So first they have declared their headers. Then you have written your main function. Then you have written your print. So printf is again a keyword. When you click on execute, you will get a hello world in your terminal in your right side so this is a simple example which we have started we'll go further thank you for watching this video hope you have liked it please hit that subscribe button and like our video. thank you